2008 Honda Ridgeline slash Pilot thermostat replacement. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps for replacing that. Okay, to get started, we're going to remove the top engine cover here. And you're going to take these little screws here and turn them a half turn to the left. And then the cover will pop And off. once you get them all turned to the side, then you'll just pop the cover up and lift the cover off. Okay, now that we got the engine cover off, you need to have a bucket underneath the uh, vehicle to catch any of the coolant that's going to spill out when we take the thermostat out. So we're going to get started here by removing the the ground wire on the back of the thermostat housing. So we're gonna remove that 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt. The tools I'm gonna to be using is a one and a half inch extension here with a, with a 10 millimeter socket and a flex head quarter inch drive ratchet. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that ground strap here, taking that bolt out. So after unbolting the ground wire, I kind of just tucked it up and out of the way. Now we need to get the temp sensor right here is a blue uh, plug here, unplug. And I just reach my fingers back like this and squeeze the, the, the connector. So I reach my fingers back like this, squeeze the connector, and slide it off. It's a little tight, but you can do it. So now on the thermostat housing itself, we need to uh, remove the top bolt here. And underneath, there's going to be another bolt, kind of catty corner from it. And uh, we need to get to that one. So I'm going to take the bottom bolt off first. So as you can see, the thermostat housing here and I got my extension and a uh, in my uh, ratchet hooked up to it from the bottom and you crack it free and you spin it off and then um, it's it's kind of a blind uh, everything is blind you can't see anything down there you just kind of do it all by feel one thing you can use to help uh, guide yourself in is like a little dental mirror like I got here and that can help uh, aid in seeing what you're doing if you need to see but I just do it now after getting the bottom bolt out. We can go ahead and remove the top bolt. And I went ahead and ex switched to a, a deep uh, 10 millimeter socket with the one and a half inch extension here. And that gave me a little extra room, uh, length to get out here where I can work on it. And we'll just crack it free and take that bolt out. So now that it's free, you're just going to grab the blower hose and kind of pull it and pop the thermostat housing off. Now you can pull the thermostat housing out here and kind of just tuck it out of your way. You want to make sure that um, it's not all pitted up and you're also going to clean this surface off, wipe it up, wipe it down. But for right now, we're going to tuck it out of the way. I'm going to take a pair of pliers. I'm using needle nose here and I'm just going to grab the end of the uh, thermostat here and kind of work it out and pry it out of the uh, housing here. Now that I got the thermostat out of the, the housing completely, you see that little shiny spot on there? That's where the uh, thermostat is dragging and sticking on inside. So it's a good thing we changed this particular one. So we're going to be using a Gates uh, replacement thermostat on that. And you also need to order the, uh, the uh, O-ring for it. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the video for the tools and the products that I'm using in this. And uh, so if you need to get that, there'll be a link for you to get it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this O-ring and put it onto the re replacement thermostat. So after installing the new gasket, we need to install the... Uh, thermostat back into the block and if you look on, on this particular gates one on the, underneath the, uh, this little bridge here there's a little uh, brass little nipple it's the same thing as on this factory one here this one's a uh, just a little bit different design we got there but that is a vent to a uh, vent um, so it allows a uh, air to flow through that air and coolant so anyways on your on your replacement thermostat you need to find it with the vent like this has to go upwards. So if you have it downwards like this when you put it in, you're gonna get a, um, you're most likely you're gonna have trapped air in the system and, and uh, won't be able to bleed the air out of the cooling system. So on our replacement thermostat, the vent is underneath this little bridge here. And you wanna make sure that vent underneath there is pointing upwards. So when you install it, the vent will be at the top. And then you'll install it into the thermostat housing, push it in where the O-ring seats everywhere, or fully around it. So when you're done, it'll look like that and it's flush all the way around. Now you're gonna take the thermostat housing here and slide it back in place. And we're gonna start the top bolt first, being careful not to knock your thermostat out of the, uh, the thermostat housing. So you gotta work slow. 
and we're gonna I'm gonna reach around like this and get the top bolt started so I ran the top bolt in so it's just barely touching but it's still kind of loose like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, bottom bolt and I took my extension in my socket here and I stuffed a piece of paper in it and I stuffed the bolt back in it that way it won't fall off when we try to uh, work with that blind uh, blind hole back there try to dig it in so after uh, installing paper into the uh, bolt and socket like this we're just gonna reach around back side like this and reach and feet you just basically got to do it by feel and you're gonna once start you get the bottom bolt started go ahead and tighten it down then tighten the top bolt then after that we're gonna reach back there and plug our temp sensor back in after the temp sensors plug back in now we're gonna restart the ground cable and I'm gonna use that same technique I used to start the bottom bolt with the with the uh, paper in the socket with the uh, bolt for the ground now that the ground cable is back up now that the ground cable is hooked back up we we'll go ahead and put your uh, top engine cover back on and we'll fill up the car with coolant so now you're gonna fill up the radiator with a uh, Honda approved uh, coolant 50-50 mix and you're gonna fill it up and then you're gonna run the car and you're gonna run it until the thermostat opens up and the way you're going to tell if the thermostat opens up is when you first start the car, you're going to feel the temperature of the hose. And then as the thermostat opens up, this, temp, this hose will get hot or warm. So you'll feel it uh, change from cold to warm. And then you'll also probably see the coolant level in your bottle here drop down and you'll have to top it back up. I also recommend you run it long enough that the cooling fans cycle on and off. And you do this with the air conditioning and the defroster turned off. After the thermostat has run, the cooling fans have run, and you've readjusted your coolant level, that'll complete the job of replacing the thermostat on a 2008 Honda Pilot or slash Ridgeline uh, pickup. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I invite you to head over to the HowToAutomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. I also wanted to remind you that I'll put a link in the description for all the tools and products that I use in here, and they'll also be on the website. Thank you again for watching.